Welcome back to our channel again. This is Isan Kosa from Kosa Trading. And today we're gonna look at uh, a nice old speaker from uh, from Bangong Olufsen. The model is uh, BioPlay S3. And uh, this, this speaker is designed by Jakob Wagner. And inside the speaker, there's a two times uh, 35 class D amplifier. And uh, it says one three tweeter and a four inch woofer, and uh, it has uh, some uh, connections. It has a mini jack output and input, and it ha also has a, a power input here. The speaker also has a, a Bluetooth uh, connection, so you can uh, uh, connect uh, with your smartphone or. You have, if you have other systems, you can uh, connect with that. It has a Bluetooth uh, 4.0. It's not the latest one, but it's okay. And uh, it's way around uh, 1.4 kilograms. So uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look. What we can see here, there's uh, two volume, uh, one up and one down. And we also have pairing mode. It's actually you can uh, purchase, you can get two of these and it can play stereo. So that's very nice. It also uh, come in uh, various combination of uh, uh, fronts. It's gone in, in the bright blue, blue and green and rose and gray and black and white. And I also think the chassis can also came in, uh, uh, can purchase in, in, in white. So. Let's start with to take. It's actually my first time to uh, to deassemble a BioPlace tree, so uh, yeah, it's a little bit maybe challenging for me. But uh, I have uh, done some done some research about it, and uh, I think you'll manage to to deassemble it. So let's dig into it. So first of all, safety first. And I think I will start removing the front cover. We can put that aside. So as you can see, is the serial number is start with twenty five, and uh, it has a four inch woofer and three and a four quarter uh, tweeter. And um, I think we're gonna start removing the woofer. So we're gonna take uh, the T5 uh, screwdriver, T10, I think T5 uh, uh, torque screwdriver, and uh, just nicely remove it. It's not the biggest speakers from Bang Olufsen has made, but uh, I think uh, the pairing mode with the uh, other other S3 is nice when you can play stereo. So uh, I actually got two of them. So uh, in, in in good price in here in Denmark. So uh, we're gonna see what's inside and also as an ed educational level how to remove the the woofer and the trader and also see what's inside with the class D amplifiers. So uh, let's try to remove it. So uh, I think uh, this has a lock mechanism. This also has a lock mechanism. Here we go. And here we have the four inch woofer. Uh, it's not the same type as uh, the Bill Lab 8000 or even for the Bill Lab 4. It's a whole new uh, woofer they have made for this uh, Bill Play S3. So we're gonna put that aside. And to get it inside, I think we need to remove there's one, two, three, four, five screws that are holding the chassis back. So we're gonna change the the torque 10 to torque 9. 
the screwdriver is not good. I think we need to find another one. But, so, yes, I also uh, very appreciate the all the subscription we have uh, we got in the past three, three to two months. So uh, it's great to see my audience is uh, watching my videos and uh, getting more knowledge about the Bengal Ovens products. So that's quite nice to see people is watching. I think this will be the last screw. Here we go. The screwdriver here and let's try to lift it up and see if we can. Oh, we missed it. We missed the front screw. Here we go. Also, I think this video will be short video, but uh, yeah. Anyway, and here we go. So we got the here, here is the here we have the the touch interface PCB board. So we're gonna remove that. I think can always they actually have glued it. So uh, I think we even, if we can't pull it out, they have glued it. So uh, yeah, let's try to remove the, the treater. So, uh, so we're gonna take a screwdriver. Here we go. Here we have the tweeter. Three and four quarter inch tweeter. Um, it's actually look weird, but uh, so we're gonna remove that. Here we go. We're gonna put that aside. And I th also think we need to remove the the touch buttons. So we can't even pull it out because they have glued from the factory, the connections. So we're gonna remove it by taking the screws out. That's actually very interesting to have glued the connections from the factory. I never, uh, I think I never seen from Bangalore side, they have glued the, the the cables into the PCB board, the connections. Let's take that screw. Oh. Let's try to remove the screw first. Here we go. Interesting. Ah, it's from here. It's the light. It's the LED light. So let's. So here we have the buttons, and the LED light indicator. Uh, I think it's made from plastic or uh, something like that. So we're gonna put that aside, and here, and here is the the front chassis. Uh, saying uh, uh, play is 3 and tight number is uh, 6245 and yeah it's, it's, it's actually produced in China designed in in by Bang in uh, in Denmark made in China so we're gonna put that aside so this is this part is the most interesting part for me. <laughs> 
I like to to deassemble the new products like this one and uh, I think first let's try to remove this cable that aside and this one and this one I'm actually removing the, the cables because it's, it's more nice to see what we are working with so um, yeah I think we just need to dig in and remove this one and let's try to remove the I think that's the power supply yeah that's, let's try to remove the power supply Also, the Beo Play S3 is is very very good speaker. I've tried and uh, listened to them. It's very nice, good clear sound with the stereo mode. It's very nice. So we're gonna see if we can remove it. And here is it: the power supply board for Beo Play S3. So we're gonna put it here. And next step will be to removing the amplifier board. Also, I think I need to get some new screwdrivers. Try to wiggle it and see if we can yeah get it up remove it from here and here here it's very, very strange they have glued the not this one is not glued uh, yo, I can see they have glued I don't think we, even we can remove we remove the glue but um, that's strange. It's the first time I've seen the glue. But um, let's try to remove the connections. Let's try to remove the connection first. And. So they also have glued the connections to the connection cable. So the, this is also very interesting. So we need to find a way out to to see how to remove the glue from the PCB boards. Otherwise, alright. If you know a, a, a technique to remove the glue, let me check in the comment. And also, uh, I don't want to heat it up with a, a heat gun or something like that. Or I need to see if we can uh, take a sharp knife and to remove it. So here is the power supply consumption. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna remove that also. And there's two more screws that are holding the, the PCB board for the input. And here we go. Let's try 
try to lift it up. There you go. So the first one. And they have slightly glued, but you just need to be careful not to break the PCB board. Here we go. And here it is, the two output and input. And the next step will be removing this board. I don't even know what it is, but uh, they also have glued that one. Uh, okay, that's the ground connection. And the ground connection board is also uh, glued uh, into the, the chassis itself. So I think we need to, let's try to remove it. I think we're gonna damage the board if we can. Uh, no, I think we're gonna damage the board. Yeah. What if we push it? Yeah, it's coming slightly. Hmm. It's very hard. Boom, here we go. And uh, here, here is the, the back chassis. We're gonna put it to side. And here is the interesting part. Yes, this must be the amplifier board. And here is the antenna for Bluetooth connections. Yeah, that this must be the Bluetooth connections. And this is also this one can also be the antenna. I'm not sure, but uh, it's here saying it's ground. And this is the LED connector and the buttons. And um, um, I think this one is the the Bluetooth. The, receiver yeah it must be so yeah this was uh, actually a, a fast uh, episode of a, a deassembling process uh, the deassembling process was uh, about a, a product from Bang Olufsen a Bioplagus 3 and let's try to bring all the the products so here is the the power supply amplifier module with the the input and output and the Bluetooth receiver and I think this one is the ground connection and here is the LED indicator with the buttons and here is the physical buttons and the treater driver and the speaker, woofer, 4 inch, and the back cover, front chassis, it's actually a chassis, back chassis, and the front cover grill. So yeah, and you also have around 25, 20 uh, screws from that. So uh, I hope you, oh, we missed a, a part and this part is the, the plastic dial this must go in put it right here so the light can get through the the plastic and into the, the chassis so yeah 
this is actually all the parts from a Beoplay S3. And uh, all these parts will be available in, uh, in our workshop. So if you have a defective power supply or amplifier or woofer, uh, these parts will be available uh, on our website. The link is in, in our description and uh, there is more videos, uh, upcoming videos. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and uh, have a nice Christmas with your family and take care.